Welcome back everybody to Express. I'm going to be showing you how to add a size chart for your products when you're getting started here into Shopify. So there's a few things that we can do before we can get started. So check it out here. As you can see, I have this product, but what I wanted to do is to add like a chart specification stuff into this action product from my actual Shopify store. So to do this in a very easy way is the very first thing what I do is to go back into your Amherst Twitter section. So I'm going to hit now into my dashboard and check it out here. What I want to do now is to focus in to my loved pod where I have my sales channel and my products. If I go directly into online store themes and go for customize, this one should be bringing us into the editor. What we actually wanted to do is to find the product that we wanted to edit. For example, here into catalog, I'm going to hit into my snowboard, here I have my spring, and I look for a specific product. For example, let's go for this one. So here I do have the small page of my product. What we wanted to do is to add something a little bit more down here into the description section. So if we focus here into my template, you can see that we have the template section and I have the product information. Really, really important in order to see much more elements that we were actually used to. So in my case, I have the title, I have the text, I have the bearing and the pico, and of course the quantity selector. If you wanted to enable this, you can just hit it on hide to hide. I have the price, the buy buttons, the description, and that would be actually it. So let's go into add block. And here, what I wanted to do is to add my specifications of my size charged. So if you don't have a theme blocked, what you can do is to add a custom liquid. And then in here, what I want to do is to use another tool that can be helping me to do this in a very easy way without having to pay or do this my own. So I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to open ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is a great tool to create some stuff for your uh, interest, and you don't have to pay almost for anything because this is totally for free. So, if you haven't used ChatGPT before, it's actually really, really simple to use it. So, what you need to do is to ask ChatGPT what you're actually looking for. I'm going to go here into OK, let's go. I'm going to hit here into send a message, and let's go for create a custom HTML file or code to create my size chart on my Shopify store. I hit into enter. And as you can see, this one should be bringing us like a basic idea of what we can add for our stuff. So it's really important to add what is the actual product you're gonna be selling, what are the elements you wanted to see, and all of that. So once ChatGPT generates this for you, you don't have to be discouraged, you don't have to be scared with this code because what you just need to do is to copy and paste, just as easy as that. So I'm gonna copy code, I go back into my store, and in the, in the actual editor, which you act the custom liquid, I click here and I paste my custom liquid code. So this code is going to be added automatically and my size chart is going to be added automatically like this. So what you need to do is to edit the elements that, that you wanted to, let's say, add it to your product. For example, here, this is the size, the waist, the hip, the length. So instead of changing the waist, maybe I can change the waist title for something else. So I'm going to scroll a little bit up. And here I have my add your CWS styling here. So it is up to you just to edit the elements that you wanted to see, depending on what you're actually selling. For example, like uh, some shoes or you're selling some pants or you're selling whatever. So this is like a very easy way of how we can add a size chart. Uh, to do this in a very, let's say like a manual way, you can go back into your dashboard once again, focus into your online store. And here what I want to do is to go into my pages now into pages, I can go into add page and let's go for a size chart of my product number one. Inside here, what you can do is to create this table content by yourself. And to do this by yourself is to get started with a table. For example, I'm going to into insert my table and there we go. So I'm going to go for size and you can add the template directly into this new section that I just showed you back in here into the editor of Shopify, add your size chart product as you have now a new page 
and you're actually good to go. But usually what I did is to check it out the chat TPD and ask this guy to do this starting point, as in a starting point of course, for a custom HTML code. Because this one is actually much more faster to use, but you are willing to like do the manual way or the automatic way. So both are actually really simple and it's gonna be looking really great into your actual store. So uh, with that being said, guys, we have not reached to the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more great tools and how you can get started here into the Shopify, adding products, updating your stuff, and adding more elements to drive some more traffic and more engagement of your customers. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can see you next time.